Himalayan rivers would be incomplete without the Brahmaputra River. Now, the Brahmaputra River is also known as the Sangpo River in Tibet. It is one of the largest river basins of South Asia. Now, similar to the Indus and the Satluj rivers, the Brahmaputra River also originates in Tibet. It rises near the Mansarovar Lake in the Chamayungdung Glacier of the Kailash Range. The river can be seen flowing eastward, almost parallel to the Himalayan mountain ranges. The river continues its parallel flow until it reaches the Namcha Barwa mountain peak. After taking a U-turn here, the river enters Arunachal Pradesh in India through a gorge. At this point, the river is called the Tihang. As it keeps flowing, it is joined by several tributaries like the Dibang, the Lohit, the Subansiri, the Dhansari and the Tista. As Tibet is a cold and dry region, the Brahmaputra carries less water and even lesser silt in this part of its course. But as it enters India, it passes through the region of high rainfall. Hence, the river carries a large volume of water and a considerable amount of silt here. The Brahmaputra then flows through Assam before entering Bangladesh where it is called the Jamuna. This river then merges with the Ganga and eventually drains into the Bay of Bengal. The Brahmaputra also creates some interesting landforms on its way to the Bay of Bengal. As the river flows with a lot of sediments, it tends to deposit them along its course. Over a period of time, these deposits become large enough and start separating the flow of the water into smaller channels. These deposits are called braid bars or riverine islands and the smaller channels of the river are called braided channels. Now, one such example is the Majuli Island. This island is situated in Assam and is the world's largest riverine island. Unlike the other North Indian rivers, the Brahmaputra is notable for its huge deposits of silt on its bed, causing the riverbed to rise. The river also shifts its channel frequently. And just like the Ganga, the Brahmaputra is also known to be destructive and bountiful. The river causes devastating floods at times, especially during the rainy season when the river overflows its banks. Assam and Bangladesh get affected by these floods. But despite all this, it is the source of livelihood for millions of people in the region.